What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how to defeat the Pokemon Trial from the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Intego Disc DLC. The trial we're going to be starting with today is the Crispin Trial where you have to basically gather ingredients where you need to make a spicy sandwich for him and then continue to battle him. So we're gonna do that in this video. I'm gonna show you the quickest way to get it done. So right at the beginning, what you wanna do is just start the challenge, the trial right here. It's gonna say, are you ready to take on my elite trial, Fred? I'm gonna say, yep, yeah. jumping in. He says, sweet, give me a hot minute to get everything set up. And he's gonna get everything set up for us. He's gonna show us a little table. I like his haircut. Kane's going to show us all of his club members and you need to basically negotiate with them in order to get ingredients to make this hot sandwich that he wants. So what we're going to do is start off by basically just getting ingredients, gathering ingredients. So what you want to do is from the beginning is to start off by talking to her. She's going to say beat me for a potato salad. Now let's get into a battle with her. She's going to say I got some potato salad if you want. If you haven't beaten me in a battle to get it though. And I'll say I'll battle you and let's go battle her to get this potato salad. that to that and this battle let's do psychic uh, to that didn't one shot it it's okay let's hammer this guy down didn't one shot it it's okay oh discharge An earthquake oh but he has another take See, that's what I love about the DLC battles. It's kind of here to teach you that, hey, this Pokemon has Levitate, so it doesn't hit its partner Pokemon, but it's still doing an Earthquake-type move to attack the opponent. Love the DLC. Love the way it's set up to kind of teach players about battling. So that one's fainted, and then we're going to hit this one with the bat, and it should be done too as well. bat -ow. Painted. And don't worry about after the battle, they do heal up your Pokemon after, so that's uh, should close combat for who? Um, who's learning to move? Um, I think I'm gonna keep collision course. Okay, cool. She says, Yes, I can hear the voice of the potato salad speaking to me now. She gave me six thousand too on top of that. Let's go. So she's gonna give you a potato salad. My potato salad says it wants to go with you. You receive a helping of potato salad. Okay. And she's going to heal your Pokemon after. And then you, what you want to do is go talk to this guy. I already have done it. And I noticed I wasn't recording. So I stopped and was like, wait, let me actually do the recording. You're going to have to battle him. He's going to give you his ingredient. But also, just a note, you can also give him 50 BP to just get the ingredient without actually battling him. So... If whatever you choose is for you, but you make sure you talk to him as well and battle him. So that's two battles out the way. Okay, so the next person you want to go and battle is going to be the person you have to give the potato salad to. And that's going to be this guy over here, right next to the guy that's screaming Manny. So you want to talk to him. He's going to say um, three ingredients. If you give me something, the thing you have to give him is potato salad. So talk to him. You give him potato salad, and he says, yes, this is it. You won't believe how much I've been craving potato salad all day. Here you go. Three ingredients in the exchange of potato salad. So you don't have to battle him. He gives you an onion, a cucumber, and a pro something. Okay, so the next person we're going to talk to is just Manny's kid. He, all you have to do is talk to him. And if you beat him in a battle, he will give you mayonnaise, I believe. And he says, do you want mayonnaise? I share some with you, but only if you can defeat. So let's click our battle you and let's get this battle going. Using the same team, my Mewtwo, um, Ugga Palm. I don't suggest this team. 
I just didn't set up a team for the DLC. And I figured they're going to have a lot of fire Pokemon. I should have set up a better team. However, you should come in prepared. Me, I'm just coming in trying to swing it, as you can see. And seeing how good I do. I mean, my Mewtwo has been holding it down so far. And been, you know, basically two-hitting everybody. Oh, that's good. My Algapar just got knocked out one tap. Which is bad, but we're not out of the fight. And they do heal your Pokemon after, so you do have an advantage because you're going to have six Pokemon with you. So I am going to throw out uh, my dancing water guy. Let's go. Let's go dance on him, man. Let's go dance on him. Aqua Step. Uh, yep, super effective. Let's do it on that one. And then let's do Psychic on Pyro. Here we go. One, two. Knocking this guy out. And hopefully, I go first. I'm faster. Oh, no. He did, he did yawn to me, too. Me, too. Goo drowsy. Aqua step. Bad out. Bye-bye. There we go. Super effective. Maybe I should put him first um, for this trial. Maybe that'll help um, speed things up. I like my Aqua Oh, Mayo underestimated you. <laughs> And he also gives you 6,000 money. Let's go. I'm with it with the money. Let's go. Um, he says, uh, here are some mayonnaise, like I promised. It's really good. So spread the word. You receive a bottle of mayonnaise. And he says, here, let me heal up your Pokemon so there's no... Okay, perfect. So the next person you're going to go to is... Uh, let's go to these kids over here. It's going to be one that's going to say three ingredients if you bring the right answer. You're going to talk to him, which actually looks like the same person that gave us the mayonnaise. Um, um, funny enough. And he says, let's see if you can get this trivia question. If you do, I'll give you three ingredients. And he says, what do you get when you mix eggs, oil, and vinegar? Tell me if you got it. And what you get is mayonnaise. So because you have defeat in him, I believe that adds mayonnaise to your list. So you need to do that first. And he says, correct. The answer is mayonnaise. You got a five-star knowledge. I see. And he says, here's your prize. Three whole ingredients at once. He gives you egg, olive oil, and vinegar. The three things to make the mayonnaise. So right next to him is this girl right here. She says, chili sauce or ketchup. So you want to enter the conversation. She says, I wonder if anyone has any lovely green cuber cucumbers to spare and you do you do have cucumbers you're going to give it to her for the chili sauce she says how about you you have a cucumber will you trade it for some chili sauce or ketchup and i'll trade it for the chili sauce let's trade it for the chili sauce she says wow you even sliced the cucumber for me that's perfect let's trade and you you hand it over a helping um of cucumber and receive a bottle of chili sauce Okay, so the next person we want to talk to, there's nobody hiding over here, right? Let's talk to these guys. Okay, so these three guys, let's talk to the person over here. This one that's going to trade you for the um, jalapeno, the japino. And he says, well, I'm in a pickle. I am. I'm missing two whole ingredients. So you're going to have to give him two things. He says, listen, I give you a super spicy if you front me some skeeto in olive oil and that's what we got already so we're gonna say here you go and he says yes you got a real big heart you know and you're gonna hand it over and he's gonna give you the jalapeno and then you're gonna talk to this girl right here the marmalade or in mustard girl and she's gonna say I think I brought too much Marley and I really don't need all this mustard either would you be willing to trade your vinegar for either my mar marley or my mustard and you're gonna trade for the mustard on this one and she's gonna say thanks here you go you handed over your vinegar and received the bottle of mustard so boom there we go and then the last i believe the last thing you have to do is right here you're gonna have to give this guy some eggs and he says oh man i really want some eggs i really want some eggs if you got any eggs i trade you for something um for the chorlinos and you say sure i trade he says woohoo way to make the correct choice here you go 
and you give him your eggs and he, he gives you the chorizo. zone. And I think that's everybody, if I'm not mistaken. Potato salad girl, uh, mayonnaise. Yeah, you could really tell by if people have the yellow thing. And the only reason why it's still yellow, because you st you have an option of getting something else, like, like the ketchup or the, the marley. So I believe we have everything to make the sandwich itself. So he says, ready to get cooking. And let's do that. Let's click. It says, got everything you need. Want to start making a super spicy sandwich and say, yes, I want to start. Let's click that. And he says, I can tell you're cooking on, on high heat. Looking forward for some extra spicy then. Okay. And what we want to do is, uh, put everything, choose everything for the sandwich. Where's my, um, there we go. My mayonnaise, my chili sauce, my mustard as well. We want to make sure you do choose your condiments as well as everything. Uh, my fiery pick. We do bring everything to the table. And uh, we're going to put, you can make the sandwich how you want to make it. Um, where's my, um, condiments. I don't want to put my condiments first. Let's just play it. Let's just play everything. No, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's actually get it on the sandwich. I think I made a boo boo. I think I made a boo boo. I think I made a boo boo, guys. Let's see. No, I don't want to place the bread. Oh no, I made a boo boo. I didn't put the the sauces on it. Oh no. No, I didn't do it right. That still worked. That still worked. Okay. Okay. I thought I messed up there. I thought if I dropped something or didn't put the things, it wouldn't uh, add this thing. He says, I can tell the spice souls of the world all agree with me. You put spicy ingredients to good use. Me? I could have handled something a bit spicier, really, but it was still good. And that means you passed my elite trial. No problem at all. Let's go. Now that we cleared, we are able to go ahead along with the battle. And he says, I'm going to enjoy the tingle in my tongue as we head back to the plaza. Pause. I didn't say that. He's, he, he said that. And we are here at the battle place. He said, well, that wraps up the trial. So it's time to face me in an elite battle. He says, you are prepared and ready to take me on? I guess. I'm not really setting up my team for this. But let's see how <laughs> good or bad is this going to go. He says, coming right up. Watch out because I'm cranking the heat up. Let's go. Now, do not take my battling skills as an example of what you should do. Go in with your team how you like. This is the team I'm having the most fun with, so this is why I'm playing with it. I wouldn't recommend this team because it's kind of a hodgepodge of just the starters that I'm just trying to level up and go through the story with. But with water Pokemon, you should be fine. It looks like he's maybe going to just use some fire Pokemon. He says, I take it there's some messy history between you and Karen, huh? And it sure seems like Daytron cooking up something fishy, too. Is he? Yeah, everything's getting so complicated. Can't you all just get over yourselves? If you want to say something, just say it. If you want something, just do it. Ooh, he's getting a little spicy right now. 
He says, I'm not the kind of guy who wastes time sweating the small stuff. I battle because I want to battle. And you know what? That's how it should be. I'm Crispin, the Elite Four rep in, in here, Savannah Biome. I want to win. So that's exactly what I'll do. Is he turning red? Oh my god, he has a quick ball on the frying pan. Let's go. He says, you're challenged by Crispin, the BP Elite Four. Let's go. Crispin, let's go. Double battles. Let's go. All right. Now then, time to get cooking. Wait, no. Time to start battling. All right. Okay. I got an effective low kick. Let's hit Rotom with that. Um, I'm going to hit Tyler Flame with the psychic. Tyler Flame did braver right off the gate, knocking out my Opapon. All right. Get him out of there. Get him out of there. Uh, the timer is about. Oh, okay. Yes. And then Me Too is going to. Boom. One tap it. Yes. Yes. Tyler Flame fainted. Okay. Cool. Cool. One Pokemon down. Okay. This guy's heating up in the little oven. And he is hitting me too hard. Hitting me too hard. I am gonna bring out my dancing water guy. And he's gonna bring out Executor. Okay. I think I'm gonna hit Mewtwo's gonna hit Executor. And this guy's gonna uh, do Aqua Step. On roll top and then he's gonna hit not very effective Ooh. yeah let's still go for it let's still go for it on the executor it's not very effective but I'm still gonna try still gonna hit him special defense fell with the wisp Ooh. okay maybe burnt burnt they're gonna do aqua step hit the rotom super effective but not wow okay whoa you really gonna downstop flames keep using moves like that yes we are yes we are Ooh, and they got hit hurt by the bone solar beam oh my god absorb the light jesus christ all right so i i think i'm gonna Focus my attacks on Executor with that. And Psychic is going to hit Rotom. Let me see if I can do that. Quick attack. Oh my god, that didn't do anything. Psychic. That's it, Rotom. Okay, Rotom is out of here. Two Pokemon down. Two Pokemon down. Okay, okay, okay. I'm still in this. I'm still in this. Executor is going to do Solo Beam and take somebody out. Who are you taking out? You two. Oh, you two didn't die. Whoa, okay. Is, is he going to use another Pokemon? Mag of course he's going to use Magmore. Alright. Okay, Wing Attack wasn't that damaging. Let's use Aqua Step on this guy. Psychic. Damn. Should I just recover? Yeah, I'm going to just use Recover on Mewtwo. And use this. Uh... Oh, what? This guy ate some? Oh, super effective. Okay. Speed Rose. Use the berry. Need to use recover. Sunny day. And I'm gonna hit um oh leaf siege. Oh no. Hurt by the burnt. So, Wave Crash, Magmore, and Psychic also on Magmore. And let's see how that let's see how that goes. Let's get him out of here. Super effective. Damage by the recoil. Need to use Psychic. There we go. 
Get Magmora out of here. Is he going to use another Pokemon? Solar Beam. Okay. And he's hitting. And we're out of here. I'm going to have to bring my alligator out to burn this mother tree down. I'm going to have to burn this tree down. Let's bring the alligator out of here. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let's do... Let's do Fire Blast to Executor. Let's do Psychic to this guy. Psychic. It's effective. Hit him hard. Hit him hard. Yes. Hit him hard. Fire Blast. Hit him hard. Hit him hard. Hit him hard. There we go. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Executor fainted. Oh my god. Okay. Blaziken. Oh, okay. We're keeping this battle going. Hyper voice uh, to both of them. Battle. Uh, psychic. To him again. Is he gonna terrestrialize Blaze again? No, oh my God. Time to terrestrialize. Let's heat it up. No. I should have knew that was coming. No. Oh hell no. Oh hell no. Oh my God. Okay. All right. I don't have a counter for this. I don't have a counter for this. You two is using psychic. All right. He's out of here. Let's do hyper voice. Let's see what that does. Oh no, but I'm dead. I'm dead. Okay. Mewtwo's gonna stay out and do psychic. I'm not gonna terrestrialize Mewtwo. I think I'm gonna terrestrialize uh mm, Woo! I am gonna terrestrialize. <laughs> I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do. All right, so this is what I'm doing. This is this is the plan. Battle. Let's uh, terrestrialize. Um, collision course to Blaziken. Battle, psychic, Blaziken. Okay, let's see how this goes. Let's terrestrialize. Let's get into terrestrializing game. Let's level the playing field, kinda. It's not the best plan. Not the best plan. But let's go. It's a fighting one too. I just noticed. Uh, what is he gonna do? How hard are you gonna hit him? Ooh, we one shot at him. Okay, let's go. Let's go! Bye bye, Blaziken. Nice to see you in the DLC that you made a return here. That's so cool to see a uh, Elite Four member use um, a starter like that. That was fire. Uh, oh, don't don't hide your face. He said I wanted to win, but I lost. He gives us money. Let's go. Come on, tight. You we still homies? Okay. He says, "Woo! That was amazing. We cranked the heat all the way up, Fred." He says, I love the battles and I love cooking because they're both so easy to understand. In battles, you either win or lose. With cooking, your dish is either spicy or not spicy. Simple, right? But right now, the mood in the league club feels, I don't know, off. It's so frustrating. I wish I knew how we could go back from back to being the fun club we were before. But hey, don't mean to doze the flames there. You are real strong, Fred. Let me see if I can transfer the burning heat from our battle into my frying pan and whip you up something great. Okay. You know, we're going to cook. Let's go. Oh, Elite Four, Kristen defeated. He says, here, I will also give you one of my favorite moves to serve up in battle. You obtain TM-207 Temper Flare. You put the TM in your back pocket. All right, cool. That's it. 
He says, I got no clue how to make the temperature of anything besides what I'm cooking. So all I can say is crank up the heat all you want in the BB League of Fred. Okay, don't worry, I will. Look at this little guy run, right? <laughs> all right. All right, oh, yo, champ in the making. That's one Elite Four member beat. Things are looking good for you. Crimson, no pushover. He's just super straightforward. I think that's kind of part of his charm, you know? We all used to chow down on Chris, Crispin's cooking after the club activities let down, let out. Those were the days. Guess he's been worrying about the way things are, too, in his own way. You just might be one we need to shake things up in the league club. That it's... That is it for me. Good luck with the remaining Elite 3. <laughs> elite 3, because I, yeah, the del deleted, defeated one. And I think that is it. Yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you have any problems either building the sandwich or with the battle. I'm not a huge battle guy, but let's talk about it in the comment section below. As you see, I made it through with the skin of my teeth. Literally had like two Pokemon left. So let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. If you have any tips for me also, leave them in the comment section below. Peace, I love you guys. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. Daddy, gamer, Fred, trash. You trash, Freddy? Yo, mama!